Previously on XCOM 2 The Long War. Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of The Long War. We have another spy in our midst. It's uh, once again at the New Arctic position, which seems to be the most popular one for Advent to try and infiltrate. Uh, we are going to go along and interrupt that meeting with some of the Haven folk and, of course, the Haven advisor. Let's get in there. Okay, we know the drill with these missions, only this time we've actually got a technical, so, I mean, awesome. Uh, let's... Oscar Mike, to get everyone moving faster. We do have concealment, and this will uh, let us scout out pretty quickly and figure out where the hell this spy is. Uh, let's actually get you up the top over this side. Looks like we may have high ground over here. That's going to be really cool. And also off that edge. Uh, who else? Uh, you can make it forwards to Rubber's here for now. The road and the kids are in the back seat. Okay, let's let's push forwards to the edge. We have eyes on the target. Okay, first three advent troops. think we should probably keep kind of pushing down Moving that out. way but we're gonna at least scout over this way for sanity's sake okay next up alexandra you can come over this side no need to ask twice constantine you can actually make oh, it all the way there. to the edge so go there no oh, wow super super fast over this side all right, let's get on in, and finally, Coat can start catching up. Yep, keep yourselves where we can see you guys. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay, well, Coat has a long way to catch up, so just get in there for the moment. And... I think we get you up Close to this hard cover. Yeah, we can uh, start positioning everyone else around this bit over here. We'll bring you up via this corner just to make sure that there's no surprises down there, and that looks all fine. So, in there. Yeah, I think we'll. Uh, Mostly stick on this side of the tree. Closing on target. In and Overwatch. You can make it in there. You can make it in there. And you know what? We'll pull around this side. Just in case they patrol this way a bit. And they are patrolling this way, but they're not going directly towards uh, that potential reveal point. So we didn't need to pull back like that, but it was probably a very sensible thing to do. Uh, you can step in here without getting revealed. Out. Overwatch. Well, actually, that was a little bit pointless. Roger that. You can come up here. Overwatch. Got it Overwatch. 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 Coat's going to step in. Alright, well that gives us the opportunity to move people closer on the edge, which I actually really like. Really, I want to have as many people forwards on this corner as possible. 
when they eventually reveal. So we can pack in around this uh, this tree here, and if they come back, heading to that location. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Headed there now. Then that should work the best for us. Uh, coat. I don't know where we're going to put you for now. It's a little bit awkward. Let's put you over here. You're not going to be on Overwatch like everyone else. They're actually going further away from us, which is not exactly what we wanted. I mean, we could open up on them and just uh, try and pepper them as much as possible. So, Overwatch. 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 Your reaction, your reaction. You're going to lead in on... You know, try and kill the one that's actually in cover. So only two left to actually shoot. Here comes the Overwatch. That's quite acceptable, guys. I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. Okay, so with our remaining ones, what can we do? We could step in, we could throw a grenade down. That works. Our just general chance to hit isn't brilliant. But with the grenades, that'll definitely finish it off. I, I want to try and avoid using grenades if we can. Maybe we'll step down to here and get a flashbang forwards. And then do some kind of um Yeah, that that could work. Let's uh let's use a flashbang. Okay, I'll go. So, flashbang on this guy. And then where you are, you can just go on Overwatch. All right, they didn't. Uh, they didn't move. So we can step on in and get an easy kill. And worst case scenario, we can step on in and then step back out when we trigger the inevitable other pods. No, this works. Well. You can actually make it forwards to grab those next turn. Well, grab this one next turn. Let's see if we can get other people to get eyes on from up here. 38% is a reasonable chance to hit. There we go. And this is why I don't want to use grenades, because I've noticed that you get a lot more loot drops from the individuals here. So we get PCS defense. And if we get other people, well, actually, no, we can we can use you as the the scout. Kind of don't want to reveal this turn though, because I just know that that's going to be a bad plan. So running across, you can get to there. So if we step to here, you'll be able to grab. No, if we, if we step to here, you'll be able to grab both of them next turn. Damn it. And that's what I wanted to avoid. So we need to kill everything right now. Advent troops here. Oh, and they've spread out nastily as well. They've spread out really badly. Uh, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Can we command? All right, command. On you. We could put you in cover and grab that. I kind of wish I'd just stepped forward and grabbed one of them now. Um, but we're going to pull you back behind here.
Now other mobs are going to have to come forwards in order to see us. We could get a smoke grenade down here for a little bit of extra cover. That's not a bad plan. You're in hard cover though. We're not up here. So let's get a smoke grenade on us. Cover. Because we're not getting flashbangs on Advent this turn. And I think... We step you down on this side. Whatever you say. So, Scanning. Overwatch. Overwatch. Down. Only two Overwatch, really. Here comes the big guy. That's a good solid hit. Adjusting aim. Well, we can pick this off without problem. Maybe get a shotgun on this guy. I'm pinned down here. We could try getting a rocket on the two at the back, but I don't want to use explosives if you can avoid it. much health have you got? Five. So you could... No, no, you're not going to be able to run that overwatch, really. Let's zoom out a little. If we step you forward, no, you're not going to be able to see that. But we can get a rocket in on this guy, at least. That'll destroy his overwatch. It might kill him as well. If it hits. Big if. Won't kill him, though. That take care, takes care of his overwatch. So who are we going to get to finish him off? You can step down and get the flank. Double time it. Okay. He's down. If we can kill all of them this turn. I'm out. Then that gives us a lot more flexibility. Oh, wrong button. No, well, I guess you're taking out this guy then. Not quite. Because it'll allow us to, to grab that, but now that means we've got two people that cannot miss. Actually, we've got, we've got three people in total, don't we? So the chance to hit the dude at the back is like non-existent because it's a shotgun at range. You've got a tiny chance to hit from where you are. You can't throw a grenade. You may as well just finish this off. No. Okay. can't actually make it down to that, so finish off the faceless. So that's the big threat gone. You want some more? And now it's just what we do with this chap at the back. If we can kill him this turn, then we'll get all three of those bits of loot. If not, we should run in and just like face tank the hit, but I think he's going to do enough damage to us. So we'll step in. We'll get a frag grenade on him, and we'll kill this one with explosives. Please do more than two damage. There we go. Loot destroyed, as expected, but we should get those three. Well, tactically sound, I'd say. And we should get a fair bit of cool stuff from that. Let's get back to base. Excellent work, Commander. Your Not bad at all. Coat's been promoted. 
so we're going to take the concussion rocket because eh, stunning disorienting is pretty damn good pretty damn good rest of you acceptable and uh, that means that we've got wow we got three PCSs from that Depth perception is a nice one. Conditioning, okay. Defense, hmm. And then we got some bits and bobs from that as well. Okay, just having a quick look at our event queue. Um, it's going to be 17 days until we get magnetic weapons, so we're still obviously on the back foot as far as our survivability goes. Um, but seven days, uh, sorry, seven hours until the supply drops. So let's hop on in. And we'll try and get that past. We can get more rookies, of course. And if I just move around a little bit, we've got the Dragoons and Tornado still infiltrating. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. Much, and much better supply income. Yourself. That, it makes me very, very happy. The Unknown Cause, that's that spy that we've just uh, picked off, literally picked off. Uh, but with this amount of supplies, we can actually afford to like upgrade some of our stuff as we uh, we get development. So I'm I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's Avengers go and grab that now. Force. Okay. Avenger plot let's have a look and see who the new staff are very quickly, and we'll. Uh, check out what the black market's got to offer us so we could get a scientist for 123 supplies that would speed up our research engineer that'll potentially be useful and these are so expensive everything is always so expensive let's see what we can sell so the Illyrium cores, wow, they're very interested in those. We're going to sell a couple of those now. We'll sell the Advanced Psy as well, because it's going to be quite a long time until we could potentially use that. Uh, they're not really interested in these guys, so that'll do for the moment. With that 114, we're going to buy ourselves a new scientist. That decreases our research time, and we could also buy an engineer, actually. You know what? That's going to be worth it. So, back, back. Let's put them to work straight away. Now, if I just have a very quick look at our soldiers. Do we have anyone injured? Yes, we've still got injured people. Uh, five days apiece. So we still need to have at least one scientist in the med bay. Um, but with that new engineer... We can start excavating. Uh, ooh, which one are we going to go for? Let's go for the alien alloys. And that will move things along a little bit faster for us up here. Very, very useful. Okay, let's carry on building that radio relay. I mean, it's so close to being completed. All right. Evasive starts 100 bonus dodge removed after you take damage for the first time. Well, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I think we will see who else is available for the AWC very quickly. So, in fact, probably easier if we go in through the squads. Because we want to try and keep intact squads if we can. So, uh, Super 6 is available for training. Technically the Super 5 at the moment. Maybe once this is all over, we should we take also this do ship and Grizzly go because one of with planets. Yeah, if we do Grizzly because um, one of Grizzly is out. So that's Hamilton Van Dorn. Bouchard, Akinlabi, and 
Nishimura. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. So, Hamilton first. That could be useful in the long term. Pretty sure Akalavi was one of them. In fact, uh, Akalavi, you're a grenadier. So none of those are really all that useful for you. Where's Bouchard? There's Bouchard. Steady hands and damn good ground would be a good combination. How about the general? As a technical, I'm not convinced about those. Nishimura? No, I think... Probably... I'm just going to double check Bouchard's um, loadout. So, Bouchard, as a ranger, you've got light him up, you've got combat awareness, so that's also pretty good. You've got ever vigilant. Okay, yeah, so if you're already being geared up very, very nicely, uh, let's, let's give you steady hands. And you can be begin training that up quite happily. Four days, that's going to keep you nice and busy. And our radio relay has been completed. I love how these guys just didn't notice that we'd, uh, you know, be working in their back garden. It's just like, yep, here's a single button that will get you connected to everything. Welcome to the fight. That's how we work. XCOM. Long live the resistance. Okay, so that's going to allow us to expand out to other haven areas without like completely overspending our intel. Um, as far as intel goes, we've got 55, so we don't quite have enough Oh no, we do quite have enough to go over here, but I want to get a little bit more before we um, do expand out that way. It will be good to get a third uh, third one going, but uh, yeah, recruits cost zero supplies. No, that, that in itself would be so, so useful. Uh, let's, let's get some rookies just for a moment because we can pad out Super 6 and Spearhead. All right. We're going to get any material from this. It's guarded. It's moderate heavy, so we're definitely going to boost this one. This is why we're saving our intel. 131% vulnerable, and it's light. It's not incredibly light or extremely light. It's just light. Um, but we do have to start this mission now. <sighs> Let's double check the squad. So it's the Dragoons. It's going to be Matrix leading it. Ah, this, uh, this should be good, good. We've got a lead on a disabled advent train that was hit by resistance operatives working in this area. There's still the potential to recover valuable technology here, so we're moving to capture whatever we can. We'll need to secure the area and remove any hostile forces still defending the train if we're going to make this work. Okay, join me next time for Operation Endless Bonfire. I'll see you soon.